beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Gemini, this is your Twin Flame reading. It's good for the very last day of July, right through to the end of August, okay? So it's good for the next four to five weeks. I do apologize for the length of time it has taken me to get this reading out, but unfortunately I've been very unwell, so I had to take some self-care time out for me and uh, be with my folks for a little while for some extra TLC. And um, I'm back to best nearly, so let's get straight to your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame connection? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. And uh, they want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to the energy. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who do not know what a twin flame connection is, please uh, look it up online. Unfortunately, I don't have much time in these readings to uh, go into great detail of what a twin flame connection is. Essentially, it is two people who are identical in their energy. You meet each other and it's like you've met yourself. It is um, a very unique and intense experience. It's like a moth to a flame. Um, you, you, you are drawn to each other, but also you repel each other. You're meant to trigger each other in order to heal things that are already present within your soul, okay? Um, so if you've had a previous experience that has been negative, whether it's in love, whether it's trauma, whether there are struggles with opening up your emotions, whether it is uh, codependency, addictions, things like that, uh, your twin is meant to trigger those things uh, that are within you to heal and vice versa. You show a mirror up to your twin and they look in that mirror, they see themselves, okay? That's what it means when you feel uh, you've met this person and you, um, you've met this person before, but it also feels like you and this person are identical. It's almost like there's a psychic bond between you both. Um, now, thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Um, now, I like to um, guide people to look at what a twin flame connection is and what a false flame connection is, because if anyone is mentally, physically uh, abusive, manipulative, uh, it is not a twin flame connection. It is a uh, false flame, just so you're aware. Uh, a twin flame, um, the chaser is aware straight away uh, that they've met their twin. Okay. They want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Gemini, what do they need to know? Okay, um, so the, the chaser is aware that they've met their twin and they're willing to s surrender to the connection, open their heart and dive deep into those emotions and also do the personal work. Now, the twin that is the runner is the one that looks at all the things within themselves that need healing and they avoid that. They don't want to go to that depth at that point in their life. Uh, they sort of deny their feelings in order to keep themselves safe and protected. So they disconnect from the energy because they feel fear. 
at the level of emotion that they feel in the twin flame connection. They know that there's, uh, they know it's a, a, a different relationship. They may not be aware it's twin flame, but they know there's something different about this connection and they keep coming back to it. They don't know why, but they keep coming back, okay? They have to go on a journey of self-discovery, as do you, Gemini, or the, whoever is the chaser. And um, once the chaser takes their attention off the twin flame, who's the runner, then the process begins because you actually uh, need to focus on your own journey, go through your own personal growth, and your twin will then come seeking you. But if you're constantly thinking about your twin, constantly uh, messaging your twin, uh, that will lead to a very challenging situation and it'll, you'll remain apart for a lot longer, okay? Um, as soon as you take your attention off them, though, they come seeking you. It is not a game. It's an energetic exchange. I like to describe it like magnets. You're both uh, identical in polarity. You push and pull because you attract each other, but also you repel each other. You're meant to remain apart in order to change the frequencies, okay? And then once you do that, you have a match. Both parties need to walk in each other's shoes before there is union. So you will become the uh, chaser, uh, and then they'll the runner, and then vice versa. You become the runner, they become the chaser. Okay, I hope I've explained in a very, very basic, uh, what it, it's a very complex relationship but that is an explanation in some way because some people say could you please just give us a basic explanation so there it is now getting to the cards you've got the one who radiates knowing ambition confidence so my beautiful gemini you knew that this person was your twin you were willing to offer your love to this person you love this person romantic uh this person triggered things within you that you've never felt before um not only an awareness but a call to fall in love with yourself okay that is what the twin flame connection is because it's often two people who are in a state of um not loving themselves fully so this is a call twin flame is a call to fall in love with yourself first the cup of love is for yourself first and if you've got codependency addictions insecurities um, you know uh, self-loathing in that cup for yourself first that is the cup that you're giving to the other person it's projected energy and they give you their cup twin flames tend to be in the same frequency so when you first meet it can feel like um, it's a trauma bond it can feel um, that you are it's a very beautiful experience at the beginning, of course, because it's so intense, but then the fear starts to set in and one twin is more spiritually evolved and actually is willing to go the distance in the connection and the other one is um, not as spiritually evolved and feels they're struggling, so they push away, okay? Uh, but you've got the one who knows, ambition, confidence. So you may, uh, you, you knew that this person was your twin or you knew that there was something different about this person and um, I feel... In the separation period, because this, this reading is about those twins who are in separation currently, I feel like you are building your confidence after a period of feeling left out in the cold. This relationship started to really blossom and bloom, but it then got cut short, okay? Um, it was meant to be that. Twin flames are meant to separate in order to do the spiritual work. Twin flames tend to have a mission, so you may feel like you have a calling. So I feel your ambition has been amplified after... Uh, a period, of course, of um, lament, of lethargy, of pain, suffering, sadness. Uh, so I'm sending you a huge hug out there, my beautiful Gemini, because uh, you feel the loss intrinsically, but it has sparked your awakening to focus on yourself and your goals and your dreams. Now, um, it's very interesting that my guides are actually highlighting the uh, bodies, I guess, that this figure is wearing. Um, Male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, but they're showing me the lace there and how it's tightly uh, sort of tied up. So I feel like this is, you know, it's almost like stitching across the heart chakra area. So I feel like it's closed off your heart in some way um, at first with this person and it's a protective measure. So I feel that there is a coldness now towards this person. I mean, deep down there is love, but I feel uh, part of you is like, you know, you feel so isolated by this person, so shut off from this person. You're like, how can I continue to love something that is, it's almost like throwing your love into the void. And I feel part of you is like trying to blossom and prosper in your own life despite this. And you are, you're totally having a glow up, but there is pain and sadness. I feel that you have actually just sort of like 
put a smile on your face just so get on by but deep down there was a lot of sadness in this okay um Now they're actually showing me um, a very in interesting image in the water. They're showing me um, a ship in a bottle. Okay, this is not something I've been see I've been shown before. A ship inside a bottle. Um, now ships tend to represent journeys. Okay, uh, it can mean something to you in particular, my beautiful Gemini. It may be something that is intrinsically linked to your twin flame connection. It doesn't have to be, but it can be something that is a symbol in the next couple of weeks for you uh, before you hear from your twin. Because, I mean, your, your twin is thinking about you, okay, and uh, is sort of like going to message you because we've got the Eight of Wands on their side. Uh, but for you, I feel like you're focusing on finances and you're focusing on responsibilities, okay? But I feel like your twin will reach out in the month of August at some point, but we will uh, go into detail as to when that's happening because this person is thinking about it. Uh, they're thinking about you, my beautiful Gemini, um, especially since we've got the King of Swords there. But um, so either in the next four to five weeks, you're actually going to walk past like a shop window and see like a ship in a bottle or maybe an image of a ship in a bottle on an advert or a billboard or something like that. Or someone's going to send it to you in a photo uh, or you may just come across it online. Uh, so look out for that. OK, it's an image of a ship inside a bottle. Um, it's a very old ship, you know, one of those like ships that you would see in like the Pirates of the Caribbean, that sort of ship, really old style um, ship with sails is what I'm seeing in the water. Um, now the ship, uh, the, my guides are giving me the ship represents a journey um, and that it being in a bottle, <clears throat> excuse me, may represent um, fe feeling stuck on that journey or feeling uh, stifled that you can't go anywhere. So it's almost like you're um, You're disconnecting from the journey because you feel like the, the the journey, the twin flame journey, can go nowhere or has gone nowhere. Um, now, the bottle can also represent. Um, they're giving me uh, pent up feelings or repressed feelings, feelings that have not been expressed yet. So there may have been a message that you wrote to this person um, that you've never sent to this person or vice versa. Uh, I will pull cards on their energy, uh, but for yours, I'm just um, seeing this image. OK, so this may be relevant in some way. I'm trying to decode it spiritually and my guides are giving me um, meanings. Um, of how it may mean something to you in this moment if it does not mean anything to you in the physical moment right now okay so uh, but it, it's a symbol to look out for in the next four to five weeks now you've also got the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is a feeling of loss okay feeling of like difficulty despair sadness and oh thank you so much I'm truly grateful they're asking my guys are asking me to notice uh, it's almost like this flower that was blossoming, blooming, is also trapped inside, like um, inside a cage. So this ship is inside a bottle. The, the flower is inside a cage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're having to force your feelings down or you're having to repress your feelings because they can go nowhere uh, with this twin flame connection at this time. So you're feeling things are at a bit of a stalemate. But still you feel for this person still you you feel the pain of how it got cut short so i'm sending you the biggest hug i have to offer out there my beautiful gemini it is often a very difficult and bewildering experience to be in a twin flame connection but it is also one of the most rewarding when you and your person come in union but it is one of the most important journeys that you will take because it actually triggers so much personal growth OK, now it's it's difficult to go through personal growth, of course, um, but it makes you stronger and it makes you um, unified and feel whole. And is rewarding um, eventually, of course, but I feel like you, you've, you're having a major awakening. All the lights are on there. So I feel like you're having a major awakening where you need to focus on yourself. Um, there is a longing with this card. I feel a longing going on here. Um, but part of you feels like, I feel part of you is like the love is dying or the love uh, you had is ebbing away. And this is for your love for your twin, okay? Um, because you love this person, 
uh, with all of your heart and your soul. And you were very romantic with this person, heightened emotions. Um, this was a, a connection um, that was very passionate, but it's triggered you into self-love, okay? Because this, this card can also be a call to um, love oneself. So I feel you have offered your heart and your soul to this person and you are still attracted to this person in some way. But I feel with the five of pentacles, you feel like this love can go nowhere. You feel that it's at a loss. Deep down, you still love and you may feel um, maybe compelled to seek love elsewhere. I'm just going to pull a card on that. Even though you want to be with your twin flame, um, that five of pentacles says you know that it's got cut short. And, and right now, it's not going anywhere. It cannot branch out. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You're not, it, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not giving to this situation. Even though you love and you have offered this person, you're not giving to the situation anymore. You've disconnected. You're fed up with the way that um, things have been going. Oh, my, wow. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. My guides have just given me that as an old ship, it's like inside this bottle. They're still talking about this bottle. Um... As an old ship, it represents um, you're not willing to take the same old journey with this person. You don't want to repeat a pattern with this person. So you're disconnecting, um, which is actually the perfect place to be in because that makes your person come towards you. Okay, how would you like to receive? Uh, we've got the Queen of Wands here in the reverse as well. So this indicates that you, you feel angry or you felt angry with this person. Um, there's a coldness that has come over you because of the way that this connection has gone. Um, and I feel like um, you've worked through the anger, but I feel like it's gone into a coldness. You're detaching, okay? Um, and Gemini, um, it's not easy for you to fall in love and want to be with a person. So you know, it takes a while for you to fall in love, but this was different because it's twin flame. And being a twin anyway, it's almost like having someone who mirrors your energy was just a very overwhelming experience anyway. So I feel like you're trying to detach because you are a very passionate person. So I feel like you are trying to temper your emotions, okay? Uh, now let's go to your person. Okay, as soon as I touch this uh, card, I'm getting a song. Okay. A year has passed since I wrote my note. I should have known right from the start. Message in a bottle. Wow. <laughs> oh, um, what is it with bottles? Message in a bottle, a ship in a bottle. Um, this is so unusual. Message in a bottle. Um, oh, that is a very famous song. Um, I think it's called Sending Out an SOS, or maybe it's called Message in a Bottle. Uh, it's a very famous song. I want to say it's by Sting, but it may be by the band he was in before, like the police. I can't really tell you. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, but of course, I know the song because I've heard it before. Uh, but it's not come up in a reading before, to my knowledge. Uh, now, I, message in a bottle. Ship in a bottle. Okay. Uh, message. So maybe this is your person that has written a note. I was getting an energy before that someone has written a message and they haven't sent it yet. So maybe this is this person. Your twin has written a note that... Um, but it said in the lyrics since okay my guides I'm sorry I'm, I'm communicating with my guides right now um, it said uh, the lyrics had said a year has passed since I wrote my note but I was just communicating with my guides just to make sure I was like but it looks like either you didn't receive this note, Gemini. Uh, so I feel like this person did not send the note. They're the person who has written a message that they've never sent. Okay. They will tell you about this, that they wrote a message that they never sent. They look at it and edit it all the time to add to it, take away from it. But this person has something that they want to say that they've never said. And they've been thinking about it for a very long time. That doesn't help you, of course, my beautiful Gemini. Um, they've got the one who aches. 
and it says sadness, solitude, silent withdrawal. So this person, they've withdrawn from this connection. So we've got a stalemate situation here where both parties have withdrawn. I feel like this person withdrew first because you knew that you wanted to be with this person. So therefore you were willing and had confidence to just launch yourself into the connection. But this person went cold. Okay, I'm just going to pull a card and see why they went cold. I mean, we've got one for sorrow with the um, magpies there. Now, either this is something that they used to say when they saw um, magpies, but I was just given one for sorrow. They pointed it out. My guides pointed it out. Um, so this person, can you please tell me why this person is silent? Why this person aches but does not message? Why this person disconnected from the union? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Now, for some of you, um, I'm, this is a very small percentage in the water right now. My guides are giving me that there are uh, differences in lifestyle like, or religion. So, um, so now this is not going to resonate for everyone uh, because not everyone, of course, uh, celebrates a religion. Or, But they're just giving me... Uh, and this doesn't come up often, but they're just giving me a small percentage in the water, maybe 10%, um, they disconnected because of their beliefs or their religion. Um, so th that's not going to be for everyone, of course. So please take it as it resonates. This person is very, very, has a lot of pain. Three of, I mean, sadness, solitude, silent withdrawal, and they got the three of swords in the reverse. So this person is healing from something. Okay, so you may have met this person after they had a major breakup in their life or a major trauma in their life. This person uh, could have experienced or witnessed something very damaging in their childhood or teenage years that made them look at love in a very disconnected way, uh, where they felt fear. Can you please show me uh, what the sadness is why is this person so sorrowful what's going on there now i'm not here to take sides or give a person an excuse for any behavior just to let you know i'm here to try and understand the devil card interesting so this person has a lot of fear that they are releasing i mean you've got the three of swords in the reverse which means they're healing from something and we got the devil card there so either this person had addictions or um you know they had some sort of obsession this person insecurities fear the devil card is basically a blockage so this person is removing blockages which is what the twin flame connection does uh, can you please show me a little bit more on the devil card and the four of swords i mean it's it's showing exactly what the card is saying here it's giving the exact same meaning and message in the other deck in in the right away vintage deck there so four swords, this person is a solitary person. They want to be alone or they are alone at the moment. I mean, this person is craving love right now because we've got the page of cups. So this person is going to offer their love for you or come in with a message of love. It will surprise you. But this person is going or was going through something very sorrowful when they first met you. And they needed to be alone. This person is healing, meditation, uh, or meditating, reflecting. They've taken a real break from dating anybody or anything like that. They're disconnecting from anything that they were unhealthily bonded to. So when you first met each other, they may have been, as I said, a trauma bond or something like that. But this person has decided to disconnect in order to go through the personal growth. Let's go one more. What are they thinking about my beautiful Gemini right now? Okay, King of Swords, the High Priestess in the reverse. So this is the Gemini card. Okay, you've got the King of Swords over here. It's in the reverse. So either this person's got deep trust issues because they got the High Priestess in the reverse as well, which is repressed feelings. So again, that message in the bottle thing going on, um, repressed feelings mistrust this is a card when it's in the reverse of not trusting and because this is your card here gemini it's like this person has deep trust issues so this is something that could come from childhood if they witnessed maybe a parent um, or guardian because there's a mother type figure here 
with the Empress energy. So I feel like this person, either there was an absent father or there was uh, some sort of something they witnessed in childhood where they just didn't trust love. Now they they feel love for you because this person wants to offer you love. The Page of Cups, this person does love. But there is mistrust, insecurity. And this person's repressed their feelings from you. So either there's something in their past that they're not telling you about, or they haven't told you about, or maybe they've hinted at it, but this is the reason that they have gone cold. There was a sadness there. They couldn't overcome the sadness. We've got Page of Cups for your person. This person is going to come in with a message of love. This person is going to reach out to you. This person, um, I feel like this person could be a little bit less mature than you, but I feel like this person is learning to open up to love. Pages tend to bring news, so I do feel like this person is going to reach out with a message, but also pages are very curious. They learn. It's like they're starting to learn to love. This person is learning how to open up to love. So I feel like it's almost like you loved Gemini, this person, with such open, honest, beautiful energy. They were like mistrustful straight away because they're like, nobody loves like this. They've, this person has not experienced a love like they've experienced with you. So this person's like, that. This, this, this can't be possible. I feel like this person either feels unlovable or there's something that has not been expressed in this reading. Um, something maybe off limits that I'm not allowed to see. But it could also just be as simple as they had a very bad breakup before they met you and they've taken that baggage from that union into your current union. And people don't take baggage into relationships on purpose. It doesn't mean they want to be with the past person. What it tends to mean, it influences the way they operate in a relationship. So if there is trust issues or they've been cheated on or they've witnessed something, it, they can allow it to sort of like mess with their psyche sometimes. It sort of like starts ticking away, especially when there's something so beautiful and important in your world. You start to think, okay, things are going too well. Where's the bad thing that's coming along? Especially if a person has experienced negative things in their life, they're like, things always go wrong. So they're expecting. It's almost like they're catastrophizing. They, they, they're they looking for the bad thing, okay? When all you want to do is love. This person is finding balance with the temperance card. They're re-examining their priorities. I feel like this person is very lonely. That's what that song is about. Um, now, you may hear that song um, as you're in the store or walking down the street. Or it may come on the radio, that message in a bottle song. Uh, that is an indicate, indicator that your person is going to reach out. Now, just as I was saying indicator, uh, it's almost like my throat chakra just completely closed up. So I feel like this person, there is a message that has been left unsaid. There's something been left unsaid here in this connection. And this person is working out to, to message you, okay? Um, the temperance card is all about patience. So this person has taken a long time to love themselves before they can offer love to you, okay? Uh, we can never love another person unless we love ourselves truly because we always find fault within ourselves if we are triggered and we start to wonder, how can a person love us? How can a person love me? How can they love this part of me? I hate this part of me. I loathe this part of me. So then you push away and you push away and you push. And, you know, my guides remind me of a time when um, I was younger and I loved so much. And yet I pushed a person that I loved with all of my soul. I pushed them away. I was immature, young and scared. And I didn't understand what I was feeling. I was overwhelmed. So it was better for me to push this person away. Almost like I wanted them to reach out and say, don't push me away. I want to be here and fight for this. And at first they did, but I kept pushing and I didn't realize. And, you know, all I wanted to say was, I love you. I want to be with you. 
I yearn for you all the time, but I'm terrified of losing you. So it's better for me to just go, I'm going to stop this. I'll be in control so I can remain in control of my emotions and nobody gets to hurt me. So very immature energy, but humans are very complex creatures. Um, Queen of Cups. This person is learning self-care. Queen of Cups is the card of self-care, but they also love this person. Yeah, there, there's some sort of separation. Now, either, I, I mean, there's a separation between you and your person, but either this person experiences separation before you, or this person is learning self-care in the separation period. I mean, the, the Four of Wands tends to be all about the twin flame connection, especially since you've got the 11 11 either side there with the wands. So I feel like this person's this person's um, separation period, both of you are meant to learn self-care, okay? But this person is learning to love themselves and is learning to value love and know the value of what they had. But it may be a little bit too late here because you are... It's almost like I feel like your love is starting to wither away. It didn't, you didn't want it to do that, but um, let's get to the outcome energy. The one who knows, wisdom, clarity, resolution. This is your person's energy. So your, your energy was first, theirs is second, and then we flip it like a mirror in a twin flame connection, and we have their energy than yours so this person does know that you are their person they know that they love you as well and they want to find a resolution they've gained clarity they've learnt they've matured okay this person is learning to love themselves and as you can see they've got the gemini card the king of swords this person thinks about you a lot okay king of swords is a thinker deep thinker but it's also a gemini card this person wants to tell you the truth this person I feel thinks about you all the time, maybe even checks you out online if you have an online presence. But I feel this person, this is the person thinking about the message, thinking about what they want to say to you. And they've got something to say. They've written something already. And Eight of Wands says this is them expressing it. This is them sending the message. Because the Eight of Wands represents, uh, you know, news coming on in, um, them rushing in to tell you something that they've wanted to tell you for a long time. And it's that they find you beautiful. They, they see you as their divine counterpart. I do feel like there's some sort of mother issue here, um, whether it is they had a very dominating mother um, or their mother somehow influenced the situation or they felt responsibility for their um family in some way because all i'm getting is that this person is a very hurt individual now sometimes i get energy that a person chose a career and this person may have like chosen ambition or something like that in order to pave over their sadness but there's something at the root of this person that is very very damaged okay and they're working through that. That um, I know that can't help you, my beautiful Gemini, but that's the energy that I'm getting, so I can only give you what I'm getting. Um, but the Eight of Wands says this person is coming towards you. If they're at a distance from you, I feel like they want to come to your neighborhood or they want to come towards you. This person wants to change. The Eight of Wands is a gathering momentum, a major transformational card that builds power, that has taken a journey of discovery and is energized. This person wants to rush in and they want to express their emotions. We've got the water there underneath. So this person wants to say how they feel. Um, and we've got the Empress energy. Now the Empress energy is like thinking about somebody that they see as um, their family or see as um, you know a potential to have children with if you want to have children or if you can have children again male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy uh, this person sees you as beautiful someone that they could spend their life with um, someone who is a divine counterpart and I feel like this person has gone through a self-care process or is going through a self-care process where there is a new version of themselves, okay? I feel like they are getting healthy. Uh, they are implementing self-care routines, healthy eating plans, exercise, things like that. This person is manifesting for their highest good. And I feel like this person is the one who is going to send you a very creative message. N 
a message that is any old message is not going to do. So my guides are showing me that this person is going to find a very creative way to write to you or uh, whatever they've been writing. It's a very creative, very well thought out message. Okay. Now for you, we've got the one who forgives. Remorse, guilt, forgiveness. So, I mean, this is an outcome energy. So you and this person, you can have an honest, open conversation and forgive each other. But I feel like the forgiveness is in your hands, my beautiful Gemini. Um, now, you're the sort of person who's very spiritually mature because we've got the hermit energy here. Um, I'm not sure if you will connect to this person because um, with the hermit energy, that is to remain in a solitary energy. Uh, I feel part of you is thinking about looking for new love because this has been a very difficult journey to take. But I feel like you are spiritually mature enough to forgive this person once you hear from this person so that you do not take the baggage with you. So I feel like you're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for yourself in order to release the pain of the past. I feel like like closure. Um, if you want to be with your person, the potential to be with your person is absolutely there. You can be with this person. It's going to be hard work. But I feel at this time, you are focused on finances or find, uh, wanting something stable. You want to settle down because you've got the Queen of Pentacles there, which is the Queen of the home space. So I feel like you do want to settle down. You do want to build something. But right now, I feel you've disconnected. You're going deep within for introspection. It doesn't mean you're cutting your person off completely. It kind of means that you're going to think about it. Okay? We have two people who are very, very deep thinkers. And you take time to process things. You are led by the mind. As much as you are very passionate, my beautiful Gemini, you are someone who has a very powerful mind. And sometimes you overthink things a little bit. But the hermit energy, as you can see, um, this person is sitting on, my gosh, and more ships. I just didn't, I didn't even realize. Okay. Um, and these are the ships that I'm seeing in the bottle that I saw in the bottle. Okay. The ones with the sails. I've just realized I'm so slow today, my beautiful Gemini. Um, so again, there's this ship. It's like maybe the, because these ships are not in the bottle, perhaps this is about you and this person both expressing how you feel about the journey and then you going away to really think about things without distraction to gain enlightenment as to whether you want to be with this person or not. Because the hermit takes themselves out of the day-to-day -day life in order to renew their energy, in order to explore their feelings. It's necessary for personal growth. It doesn't mean that you want to be alone long term. This is a card of temporary time out. So um, I feel you, you've got a lot to think about when this person reaches out. We've also got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a card of wanting to settle down, wanting to build a home unit, wanting to be practical about things. Uh, you are very committed. Once your heart is in, my beautiful Gemini, and it does take you a long time to fall in love in the first place, but once you are committed, you are honest to a T, okay? So I feel like you are reserving judgment about this twin. Now, also, I cannot ignore the fact that there are a couple of people here. We've got a king, we've got an empress, and we've got a queen of pentacles. So I'm going to pull a card and see if there was any third party situation. I'm not feeling one, but I feel that there was a strong mother influence or this person, um, I mean, maybe this person had lost their mother or their mother was a very strong influential figure in your relationship. Uh, so I'm just going to pull a card on that. Thank you so much for it, guys, for angels. Can you please guide two of wands in the reverse? Okay, Ace of Wands in the reverse. That does make up three, but uh, uh, the rejection was because this person felt like everything always falls apart on them. This person is entering a new cycle, though. They're looking back at seeing how they pushed away everything, they rejected everything, because they felt nothing ever goes their way. Everything falls apart. This person wasn't really looking for love when they first met you. This person understands their role in the Twin Flame Connection now. This is a card of um, 
learning, a card of completion, having a deeper understanding, entering a new cycle, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So I feel like there, I mean, these are the two cards that have shown up for you. They're showing up again. So I feel you're not giving to this at all, my beautiful Gemini. And I feel like there was not a third party situation. That's what I'm feeling. There, there's no third party situation. Magician. No, just um, unrequited love, scattered energy, wasting of time, unfulfilled potential, and focus on other things. Procrastination. They give me the word procrastination just now. So this person took a long time to work out their feelings and work through their feelings. Now, of course, it's going to take as long as it takes. Uh, we're not here to judge anybody. Um, you know, everybody has a very different journey and we walk in our own shoes. We cannot experience another person's journey. Uh, we can try to understand it and have compassion for it, but we cannot under we cannot truly understand another person's journey because we're not living it uh, but the ten of wands i feel like there is there's baggage here that you're unpicking in this connection you feel it's like uh stresses you out because you you you're trying to make make way or you're trying to clear the space for new beginnings whether that's with your twin or whether it's with somebody new that's your call my beautiful gemini we all have free will but the the ten of wands tells me that um you tend to you overcommitted in this connection and now you're stepping back. You're waiting for this person to show their cards if you really want to move forward on this, okay? Uh, I feel like you're releasing situations that have no place in your life anymore. And you're thinking about you in the home space. I mean, some of you may actually have been buying a home or you're nesting and you're thinking about um, the next opportunity in love. You're... you're sort of suggesting that this journey has now run its course and it, it's something that you uh, didn't manage to make it work. So therefore, there's another opportunity on the horizon. So you may be thinking that, you know, you're going for a soulmate energy and releasing your twin. It's very difficult choice to make, but I feel like um, you have a whole set of choices right now. By the end of uh, August, you will have spoken to your twin and you will know your path. You will know which one to choose. Okay, uh, is what they're giving me. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? We've got Dragonfly Magic. Now, Dragonflies tend to mate for life and um, are loyal. So, I feel like this is highlighting that this twin flame is coming back to express themselves and you're going to both see that you wanted the same thing but one was terrified to open up to it uh, it says here i embrace my transformation i courageously let go of the past the magic of nature is in me i am brilliant and i am blessed now in order to move forward with your twin flame one must let go of the past one must start again from the very beginning but that's easier said than done. Sometimes it is a very uh, difficult situation to do. But that's what must happen if you are both to move forward. But of course, there needs to be an honest, open conversation about the past first before you can release it and get closure. Um, but I feel this Twin Flame journey has transformed both of you. Um, and that is the point of a Twin Flame connection, to bring peace um, and also to connect you to your calling. You may have felt more in tune with your true purpose and your true prosperity since being in the separation period, okay? That is the point of the Twin Flame connection. But I'll leave it there. Your person will reach out. You will have had some sort of exchange in August. And um, I feel you leave August taking some time out to really think about whether you wanna be with your twin or not. I feel like it's not as clear cut as that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide? Ooh, we got Angel Wings. Okay, now either Dragonfly or Angel Wing is also a signifier for you to look out for in the month of August. Um, but this means you are guided and you're protected. So your twin is being guided back to you. And I feel you're being given an opportunity to have an, a conversation that is pretty much make or break. Okay, uh, and they want me to put this they want me to put this on the Knight of Cups, okay? 
and that is guided to love oneself before one can offer love to another. So this was the point of your twin flame connection. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated in that reading for you, my beautiful Gemini. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. And thank you again for your wonderful patience. Um, I will have the monthly readings up in the next couple of days as well for August. Okay. Thank you so much, my beautiful Gemini and love and light.